Hi, I'm Dr. Kurt Wohler. Let's review what we know with respects to biomedical therapies for autism and, and really what has been most successful over the years. I've, I've done talks like this before, whether it's through my websites, lectures, articles I've written about, but I, I just want to give you a, a quick overview so that you know going in that there are certain therapies which tend to give a higher percentage of improvement than others. First off, dietary intervention is huge. It always has been. And so one of the tried and true remedies for autism intervention is the gluten and casein-free diet. And honestly, it continues to be a significant therapy for the vast majority of kids that do it. Another is comprehensive supplement therapy in many respects. Some kids with autism have a very limited diet. And so they're not getting a broad-based uh, nutrition through the food they eat. So often they are nutrient deprived. So you know what I'll do initially with some kids is put them on some initial supplements, whether it's B vitamins, minerals, probiotics, you know, essential fats. Um, these have a, a healing effect for many. So we know that vitamin therapy in general, it's, it's a too broad discussion to get into each individual vitamin or mineral, but Supplement therapy in general can be helpful. Another is treating chronic infections. And, and this is, a, again, a broad discussion, but looking at bacterial issues, looking at yeast problems, parasitic infections, and treating those, particularly with respect to the gut issues, has a tremendous benefit with respect to kids' development on, who are on the autism spectrum. Now, a therapy that is gaining recognition, um, and has been around actually for quite some time, but gaining more and more recognition within the autism community is a therapy called MMS, which is showing tremendous benefit for these particular individuals on the spectrum who have deep-seated chronic resistant infections. Methyl B12 therapy, specifically the methyl B12 injections, significant. Um, and I've, you know, over the years, and this is why, to me, it is a tried and true remedy um, that I feel the vast majority of kids should try. There are other therapies as well that are I consider to be tried and true. Respinae therapy. Respinae as a homeopathic application of a specific herb called reserpine has shown great benefit with respects to social improvement, language, less sensory issues, overall mood improvement. So in my practice, Respinae has become a standard or tried and true therapy. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy, or HBOT, is also a significant biomedical therapy in this menu of things that we have to choose from to help many kids on the autism spectrum. And that really rounds out you know, the, the, the greater application of biomedical intervention. There are other immune therapies that are, are helpful, ibuprofen and antiviral therapy for sure. Um, and there can be other supportive therapies as well. But, but that really hits at the, the crux of it. The dietary intervention, nutrient support, digestive eradication, elimination, if you will, of, of gut pathogens, methylation support, um, Respinae, brain chemistry support, hyperbaric oxygen therapy with respect to improving body metabolism, decreasing brain inflammation. So think about those, have those on your list of things to consider for your child if you're looking to implement biomedical um, interventions with respect to their autism. Thanks.